Hello, and welcome back. Um, so, as you can see, I finished the floor, and I, in need of some storage, I actually set up some of these things. I decided I was going to go with signs, because it allows me to specify two different directions, and I've done some branch mining. This is actually my second diamond pick. But, uh, I have everything here, but I didn't want to make anything till, uh, it could be seen. Now, I'm not going to go about placing those just yet, because I have some extra things in my inventory. For the very good reason. Things such as these. Which, I have a decent amount of iron now, too. Uh, not a whole ton of diamonds, but... I mean, at least my storage is getting better. I uh, still have plenty of steak. Uh, oh, I don't remember why I was in here. I want these to be sticky pistons. I have a reason for all of this. I haven't been to the nether, however, I do have another chest floating around over here. I'm sure we'll get around to that. But uh, I've got obsidian in there for the portal I will inevitably make soon but uh, I've dug out this area got it all set up the walls are gonna be lined with bookshelves up to the ceiling however however these chickens have really been getting on my nerves hey you get out now the short version of this is I want uh crap on a stick. I know how I can fix this. But I want to have my enchanting table adjustable should I decide I want to do a low level enchant for whatever reason. Really? That's 15 already? Wow. Okay. Now, I want to extend this. I may have made an oversight with not making any repeaters. There we go. And there we go. Got that where it needed to be. And I suppose we'll put the last one right here. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna wire this all up. Obviously I want it to default to on. However, I also want to... I want to do it in sections of five. Which is pretty much the reason why it's all set up like it is. I might do these six together. Or I might do it these six and these six, my plan is to basically have this symmetrical in the end, but I apparently don't need as many bookcases as I thought I did. Like, I know I need 15, but that's apparently less than I had previously expected. Now, this dirt block was marking where the enchanting table will go, right in the center, although I don't think I want to mess with that just yet. I want to get this wiring down first. See, I could just do this with a series of levers, but uh, I don't feel like doing it that way. I think I'm going to do it in the most complicated way I can possibly muster. Uh, There's one in that corner, right? I don't want to do that. Okay, I couldn't even remember how I had set up these blocks. It's terrible. So I want... See, there's going to be... the hell did I do here? I, don't, I wonder if I can... No, I won't be able to do this entirely without repeaters. And I just trapped myself in a hole. Genius. That's not helping. I suppose I should probably get some cobble. Most of it's still over at the mine. I unfortunately really only have this at the moment. But, I suppose 
will make do. I should probably consider making more... Ah, screw it. Make more of these. Screw it. Make a whole stack. Because I can. I'm already offset by one. Might as well use the last stick. But uh, the short version of the story is I want to set this up so I can actually toggle these things with a button. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it. It's basically going to shift from one mode to the next. Um, but it's going to take a little bit of tinkering to get it done the way I want, I think. It's also going to take a little improvisation because I didn't pre-plan this before I started. So... I, I very, very considerably considered digging... Was there enough considers in that statement? I uh, thought about digging out a gigantic hole under all of this to get it properly set up for such things. Take these out so I can see where these pistons are. Very good, very good. Uh, looks like one more. Yes, very good. Now I think I'm just gonna pop out all these corners right now. I should be able to run these ones using purely torches. Oh, and then I can toggle these torches off afterwards. I mean, I'm going to want them all defaulted on, I think, but I can always make adjustments for that later. Now that puts... Oh. I seem to have fucked up. Short version of that story. Okay. I will remedy this. I really don't want to break the bookcase because I don't want to have to make it again. Oh. Extend. Destroy. Piston. Okay. Should I not have taken... Oh no, that was a three block drop. Okay. Now... I'm not entirely sure... how I'm going to do all these things. Now, I got that. There's going to be a large chamber underneath this, I think, to set all this up. I am going to want these all defaulted to on. Here I go, trapping myself again. I wonder... I don't think I have any ladders. Should make some ladders. I don't need a whole lot of ladders. Yeah, that'll do. Ladders. There. This should temporarily solve my issues with exiting this hole in the ground that I've put myself in. Now... But yeah, my slight oversight on how I'm going to do this thing is, uh... Yeah. Now, I am going to want this symmetrical. So the end result is actually going to have uh, one more here and two more over there. And I guess I will link these sides all together. And then the back ones will, uh, like, the bottom ones will come in first. And then the these would come in second. And then the outer ones would be the last ones to enter. I am, however, going to want wood here and in this little meeting spot here so that when they're extended back like so, it doesn't look completely abnormal. Uh, I might actually want a bookshelf there, but I don't have the materials for such things at this time. So, anyhow, back to my hole in the ground. There's going to have to be some set of Oops, series. I'm actually going to need more pistons for this. 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna need more pistons. I'm gonna need repeaters. I might have been slightly ill prepared for this episode. Uh, I did not expect to complete this in one episode, though. So, there's going to be two episodes of me trying to get this thing set up. So, if that's a problem, I apologize. Now, I'm trying to figure out... I'm obviously going to want a decently sized room down here to work all this on. I think... I really should get some uh, redstone? No, get the sandstone... In fact, I had some. Yeah, I have some of my inventory. I was gonna use the sandstone to de designate where the redstone was above me and within the general vicinity, so that way I could have an easier time. Basically, I could have an easier time dealing with this. Uh, however, first things first. Those are all extended. These back ones are currently not. So let's poke these out at the moment. And then we'll extend this guy. These guys? Huh. Oh right, they pulled down. Gotcha. So, boom, boom. And boom. I'm, I'm going to make a new pickaxe and enchanted right now with my completely full inventory I feel as though my inventory may not have been ready oh and you're probably wondering why I have the leaves and I'll get there the number of chickens in here is just unnecessary no I want to have more yeah that aha silk touch I approve. I approve greatly. However, ooh, I actually do kind of want to mine out. Silk Touch is actually really common now. So, I'm not going to worry about using that on gathering stone, because that'll save me coal, which I'm actually lacking at the moment. Let's see, how am I going to do this? I think I might have three chambers, because this is going to be a three-mode switch, I think. So, I'll have... Well, there's five there. Oh. See, wiring the sides together is going to be a pain. I could try and do a weird split, but I wouldn't like how that would look in the end. So... Definitely going to do the sides together. Um, hmm. I definitely kind of wanted. I definitely want to do the the top one uh, back here. I need to find a way to toggle between the different modes, which I was thinking about using uh, basically piston clocks for that. Uh, set up like a mono stable circuit, which. I haven't built anything in a while, so I might be a little off on how to build some things, but uh, it'll be fine. I got this. Um, you know what? I can put this first one right here, uh, right dead in the center of this place, without issue, I think. Let me get the sandstone on the bar. So, first one is here. One, two, three, four, five. What? Is that right? No. That's six. Learn to count, dumbass. Okay. I am going to want these defaulted to on. So this could cause a small issue. Now, as for the sides, uh, at least these ones will be e easy enough because it'll be using the same concept, like so. Now I'll probably have one circuit that goes in to toggle those. Why do I have no food on my bar? Ah! Stop it! Okay. Oh, uh, furnace. Five. Still? 
<sighs> oh, there's already one in there. I will take it. Because that's an even split number. Let's see, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Split this like so. Throw some redstone in the middle. And realize that I'm probably going to need more torches now. I may suck at guesstimating these things. Ah! Where the hell did you come from? Is there a dark spot somewhere that I missed? Also, that is a lot of slime balls. And I'm also out of sword. Oh well. Now... Stupid ladder noise. Now, obviously, if I put the first one somewhere over here, this will come in like so. And this is going to be... I think I'm definitely going to use uh, piston toggles for this. Makes the most sense in my brain. If that makes sense. Something here is not right. Anyhow. Now... This will be the first set right here. And that will be controlled by... No, not there. Put this here. Put one of these here. And here. I think. Um, I should just use RS nor latches, shouldn't I? A series of AND gates. There's already enough pistons in this. Why make it noisier than it needs to be? But uh, I will place these where these need to be. Um, which is not that easy to do. Okay. Now, I need to link these two sides up to each other. One, two, three, four, five, six. I may not want to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Now, probably the easiest place for this, then, would be to, like, put it over here somewhere. Although, I think that over here's a good idea. What the fuck was that? Ah! Okay. I'm not going to be able to have too much distance on this, that's for sure. Do one of these, I think. Hmm. What am I doing? Whenever I need to ask myself that, it may not be that I'm doing this right. I may have a serious problem with my brain. And bow down. Uh, slap one of these here. No. Slap one of these here. And dumb. Oh. Actually, I want this to turn off. Then bow. 
By the way, it's defaulted to on. You know, I might skip the uh, the really strangey toggle thing I have planned for the moment. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking. Now... Thinking is hard. I may have created a small oversight in this whole thing. So... I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Forget this for the moment. I'm also ill-prepared on my redstone equipment, so... I need to get prepared on that. So I shall worry about that at a later time. Yeah. I agree myself. I agree completely. So, I've got these because I thought maybe if I did... No? Add a little bit of flavor. Make the uh, smooth stone, smooth sandstone not look quite so out of place. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, somehow this is all of a sudden seem like a, seeming like a really bad idea. I was thinking, you know, maybe I could do like a a leaf wall thingy coming out, but this hole of water is going to cause issues, and I'm going to have to fill that in. Hmm. But I'd probably bring it out to like here-ish. Probably basically like arch the leaves up. Ah, okay, fine. No, so something like that. And then the leaves would come the whole way out and around, like. Well, apparently not like so, because I ran out of leaves there for a second. So, something like that. And then I'd probably. Maybe I'd set up some kind of, like, security system here. See, because I want to use, like, pistons or something to do a pull-away floor for if mobs try to walk through. Uh, by using a uh, tripwire. Because I get sick of zombies beating on my door. But... Move this, since it's clearly in the way. I don't know, fill that in and kind of do that the whole way around. Maybe I'll just... I don't know, let's try putting leaves the whole way around the known water outside of this. Come on now. Leave me alone. I'm trying to build my house here. Screw off! Oh, I'm not going to have enough leaves to fully do this place. 
Nobody needs to see the back side of it. Probably really won't be back here anyhow. Shh, no one will know. Except for everyone that looks at this video. They'll know, but... Shut up, I have no retort. But, uh... I kind of like having the leaves there, because it at least gives it, you know, a little bit something else. As for these, I'm not quite so sure about these. I don't know. I'll get some input on that. As for the whole redstone shenanigans, I need to get prepared for that first. Uh, I'm apparently severely lacking in things. My general idea, like, it should work. Over, I'm having difficulties on that. But, uh, something I do want to do. I'm not entirely sure where I want to put this, and I can actually just tear it down at any point that I feel like and move it. I'm interested to see what we find in the nether. And considering I have a silk touch pick, I can actually... And we'll make an iron sword sword. Been using pretty much stone this whole time, so. Okay, so I got the silk touch pick, so I can gather glowstone. I do not want the portal in my house because they are too noisy. I was thinking about putting it in the bottom of the mine shaft, but that's a little bit too far for my liking. Um, I think I'm gonna put it. Oh, oh! I really don't want to do this without enchanting it, but... Meh. It's diamonds. I'll come across more. Put it right in here, I think. We'll have a look-see at it before... we move on. Like, before we stop, we'll have a look-see in the nether. See if there's no, uh... Fortresses right away. Crap. Well, I'm getting in a hurry. Could just cut cutting this part out, but screw that. Okay. Whoa. Cool. Let's see what we got. We need to go deeper! Achievement cut! Whoa. There's some easy access glowstone. Started on some freaking soul sand, though. And the nether is apparently being very... frame rate hating still. I'm not sure why it does that, but it might get me killed. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I don't see any strongholds. Hi, Pigman. There sure is a lot of you. Wow, now that I think about it, my nether is just. A whole lot of lava. Ow. Fire. So this is dangerous. I don't see any strongholds over that direction. A lot of glowstone right above the lava. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Wow. For a second there, I thought one of those pigmen was holding a sword upside down. It's an obelisk. Stop it! Yeah, I don't know what the problem with the nether is, but that's been around for a while now. And it's really going to cut down on how much 
I'd do in the nether, I think. Yeah, that's a pity. I don't really see any strongholds, so it's it's gonna take some uh, digging and building and stuff to find a stronghold. However, uh, this episode is getting a little bit long, so I'm going to head back through. You know what? I'm gonna head back through, but there's no reason to uh, not stop now. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. That's it. Screw it. One more thing. Yeah. Okay. Now for realsies. Have a good day.